my name is Jolchna S. Mohan. This video is about linked data structure and its implementation using pointers in C. Let us look why linked list. Like arrays, linked list is also a linear data structure okay? that we know. Then what is the difference between arrays and linked list? In case of arrays, elements are stored in consecutive memory locations, right? So, in order to occupy the adjacent space, a block of memory that is required for the array should be allocated beforehand. Once the memory is allocated, we cannot extend the size of the memory in case of arrays. But if we are using linked list, the amount of memory that is required can be varied during its use. We can extend the memory and the adjacency between the element is maintained by the means of links or pointers in case of linked list that we can discuss detail. Uh, since we can extend the memory, linked lists are called dynamic data structures and in case of arrays we cannot extend the memory. So, arrays are called static data structure. So, we are concentrating on linked list. We are moving to the more details of linked list. So, a linked list is a collection of elements called nodes. What is linked list? Linked list is a collection of elements called nodes. And what is node? A node contains two fields. A node consists of two fields. First one is data and another one is link or pointer. In data, it stores the actual information. That is, means it stores the actual information. Link or pointer contains the address of the next node in the memory. So, this is a node. This contains data and link path. Data contains the actual information. Link contains, the if there is another node, it contains the address of this node. Next node. Link contains the address of the next node. And there are two terms. One is head. What is head? Head is a pointer which points to the first node of the link list. And we can represent the link list by using that pointer called head. Okay, uh, and the, if uh, there are n nodes, and the last node is called the last node is called tail of the node, and which contains the value null, which contains a pointer to the null. If the link list itself is empty, so what will be the case if link list itself is empty? That means head that is the pointer to the first node that contain that will contain the value null. That is the case of null list. Okay, the here there is a uh, pictorial representation. Here this head which is pointing to the first node. First node contains uh, data twelve. This is one node. This is another node, and this is the third node. And this is the link part. It here it stores the address of this node. Suppose uh, this is the first node. It is at the location. 1000 the hat will contain the address 1000 okay and this link part will contain the address of this is the first node its link part will contain the address of the second node if it is 2000 uh, that value will be stored here so this is the second node its data part contains the value 20 and this will contain the address of the next node so, suppose this is, uh, uh, no, there is no need to be uh, the value of links in the increasing order or decreasing order. It can be any value. Suppose this is containing the value 500. Let it be 500. Uh, so, it will be stored here. So, this is the last node. This last node contains the link part S null. Okay, this node is called tail of the link list. Okay, that is the end of the list then then we are going to the definition of link list so uh, link list is a ordered collection of finite homogeneous data elements called nodes where linear order is maintained by means of links or pointers the data are finite and homogeneous and it is an ordered collection if node data and links are coming in all the cases, it will be same. There will be a finite number of data elements and homogeneous data. What is homogeneous data? If 
there is only a node consists of only one data part and it contains integer value all the all the nodes will contain the integer value there is no need a node should contain integer value only it can be float double or anything if we are creating a node or in English if a node contains integer the another node also contains should contain integer value so depending on the requirements of the pointers are maintained the linked list can be classified into three major group that's singly linked list double linked list and circular linked list in this video we focus only on the singly linked list which we have discussed so we are moving to the implementation part of linked list and in c we can create a node using self referential structure in c we can create a node using self referential structure what is self referential structure it's a structure which contains a pointer to a structure of same type here is an example uh, this we are creating a structure that's why we use the term keyword struct and that structure name is example it contains two data one is uh, uh to uh, one is integer and another one is for floating power in value and the third one is a pointer the one is a pointer to this structure itself that's why it is a self referential structure it contains a pointer which points to this structure itself that's why it is a self referential structure in c we are using self referential structures to create a node uh, we know a node contains a data and a pointer when we want to combine two different types of things we are using structures right so here we are using self referential structures to create a node in uh, c here we are discussing the representation of node in c so this is the uh, name of the structure node and here we are creating integer data no need to be integer it can be float double anything and this is a self referential uh, structure because we are we are using the pointer next which is pointing to the this structure itself since it is not here also we are keeping the same name so this is a self referential structure that means each struct node has a data item and a pointer to another struct node each node contains a data item and a pointer to the another struct node another struct node so this is a general uh, representation of a node it, here it contains more number of data items but only one pointer since we are discussing singly linked list it consists of only one pointer but it can contain any number of data okay and data type can be vary if it is a integer it can be a floating point number okay this is general uh, representation and now we are going to discuss how to create a node in c here we are using two library uh, the study io.h is a standard input output library which is mandatory and here we are using std lib which is used called malloc function then why malloc function the structure is not sufficient to create a node we have to allocate a memory for it we have to allocate memory for it then only a node will be created this structure only we have to allow um, after we have allocating the memory then the node will be created so if you want to create allocate a memory we have to call malloc function if you want to use malloc function you have to include this library okay uh, in main function we are creating a pointer that is head and here we are assigning or initializing it with null this is the pictorial representation after executing this line you will be getting a pointer head and which contains a null value and if you want to create a node and if you want to allocate a memory space we have already said we have to call a malloc function which contains a malloc function will create a node 
which allocate a space for anode. Anode consists of data and link it will be allocating a space for it. Suppose this malloc function is returning the value 1000 that 1000 will be stored in head. This is a typecasting method. This is not mandatory in case of C. So, when you are calling a malloc function that value will be stored in head. So, this is the pictorial representation uh, and this malloc function is returning the value 1000 that 1000 ml node will be created this will be the starting address of that node that node will be consisting of data and link part and if you want to assign values to this how can we assign values to this so by doing that means head and an arrow operator data which is equal to 45 when you are executing this line a 45 will be coming to the this nodes data part and head error operator link is equal to null means we are assigning null value to this you will be getting this structure after executing these lines so initially we are creating a pointer and we will be getting an address that address will be stored in the head and that will be the address of this first node and by using the arrow operator and head arrow operator data we are assigning the value 45 and head arrow operator link we are assigning the value null ok if we can print the value also if you are I am giving a line to print percentage d head operator arrow operator data that value will be head data part will be first nodes data part value will be printed on the screen that is 45 so you will be getting sorry you will be getting the value 45 here so we have already discussed how to create a node so we, we, now onwards we are going to say how a link singly link list will create how can we create a singly link list so here this is the first node we want to create this is the singly link list we want to create this is the first node of that list and second node of this list this is the third node of this list and this is the uh, pointer to the first node in that list it consists of three nodes uh, this is a pointer to this first node so this, this thousand is the address of first node 2000 and 3000 uh, first node contains the value 45 uh, it contains the pointer to the next node since it is 2000 no, node in the location 2000 it should contain the value 2000 and third node is at location 3000 so second node's link part should contain the value 3000 its data part is 98 and the last node data part is 3 and its link part should contain null value such a link list we should create so for that we have already created a single node right so we are going to create another node which data part is 98 and which its uh, link part is null so I am doing the same function here we are, I am calling the malloc function to create uh, allocate a memory for that and we are updating the data with 98 we are uh, assigning the data 98 head dot link is equal to null so the second nodes link part will be assigning the uh, null value so after doing that we will be getting a link list like this first node is consisting of data 45 and link part null and second node consists of 98 and link part null uh, but the head pointer is pointing to the second node head pointer is pointing to the second node why this happened we updated the head pointers value right in this line we are updating the head pointers value so that value will be stored in head pointer so what will be happen since now head is pointing to the second node there is no way to access the first node in the list so how to solve it we, we should create another pointer for this so I am creating another pointer here this is that pointer is called current instead of head I am uh, instead of reusing head I am using another pointer that is current so that is and after that we are doing the same we are updating the data and 
we are assigning null to the second node and since it is a linked list it should contain instead of the first nodes link part should contain the address of second nodes address so we have to update this right instead of null it should contain 2000 we have to update this value so by doing hat link is equal to current we have uh, had we already assigned hat link is equal to null by giving the uh, line hat arrow link is equal to current now current contains the value 2000 and hat contains the value null hat dot link contains the value null hat dot hat arrow operator link uh, we are updating by using this line then it will be stored 2000 will be stored in this part okay so we want to create the third node how to create the third node we can follow the same procedure head node i am using another pointer current 2 so this current 2 data is updated with the value 3 and current link part will be updating with the uh, null value and this current node that means second nodes a link part is as updated with the current 2 current 2 so uh, after executing this line a 3000 will be coming in the second nodes link part position right so if you want to create n number of nodes we have to use n pointers right so how to solve it we can uh, move to the second method that will be the solution for that and before that we have to check what is head error operator link what is head error operator link head is containing the value 1000 right 1000 link head is containing the value 1000 what is 1000 link that is 2000 the answer will be 2000 then what is head link link head is containing the value 1000 its link is containing the value 2000 that means here you will be getting 2000 but is 2000 link 2000 link what is it that is 3000 then how can you access this link part head link 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 is equal to null head link will be containing head link will be containing 2000 2000's link that is 3000 3000 link that is null so this method we are using to create the third node so instead of giving uh, uh, here we are using head link is equal to current this is the head head link we are assigning with the current node we have already created current so current will be storing the address 2000 and we are updating the head link with the current after that we are using the current pointer once more we are reusing the current pointer we are not going to create another pointer we are reusing the current pointer so struct node star current is equal to malloc size of struct node so one more address will be assigned to current that is suppose that is 3000 that this is 3000 that is 3000 so that value will be stored in here right that value value will be stored here and its data will be updated with the 3 and its link will be updated with the null then we have to update the value of this link that means head link link you can update it by using this line head link link is equal to current we are storing the value current here okay in this way if you want to create one more or any number of uh, nodes no need to create another pointers we can reuse this current pointer and by using this method we can update the value of any nodes link that's all these are the references for this lecture thank you